Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the currently unreleased Ocelot Jugular. Now this vehicle is fucking beautiful. Not really sure what it's based on. It looks very similar to an Evo with a bit of Jaguar chucked in there as well. It's, uh, it's definitely a mashup of a few different vehicles. But I'm digging it, man. I think it looks really, really cool. And it actually has some real good promise to it that it's going to have some good customization. Let's hope so, anyway. Um, so, with that being said, let's jump into this bad boy, get into LS Customs, and see what sort of customizations we can do to it. So, here we go, my dudes. As you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Ocelot Jugular is in the sports category exactly where I was expecting it to go and to start off this video we're going to jump into the armor and purchase 100% body armor then we're going to go to the brakes we're going to get the race brakes for the bumper we've got front bumper and unfortunately we only get three additional bumpers I was expecting a lot more um, so it's quite disappointing hopefully they're they're, they're, they're good which <laughs> they're, they're not really um, that much different from the stock one unfortunately um, the only one that's really stands out from from the stock one is this one because you get the intercooler at the bottom the stock version of it is in my opinion a lot nicer so we're going to stay stock unfortunately that is quite disappointing I was hoping um, big things were going to come with this vehicle with the customizations but it doesn't look like it is um, anyway we're going to move on to the rear bumper we only get two additional options for the rear bumper disappointing and it's not even a bumper <laughs> it's not even a fucking bumper change man oh what the hell and again I think the stock version of it looks better than these two you know um, so unfortunately I'm gonna stay stock once again yeah so it, that is disappointing but anyway we're gonna move on to engine we can't skip the engine we've got to get the level 4 engine upgrade then we're gonna go to the exhaust we are gonna get um, Oh man, we'll go get the dual twin exhaust, they look pretty sweet. And then we've got the fenders, so we've got the secondary arches and the carbon. Um, so as you can see, a stock that does come with a bolt-on body kit. Um, I think it looks cool like that. And when you start changing them, I think they start to look a little bit funky. Uh, and I'm not a fan. So I'm going to stay stock again for the fenders, unfortunately. Um, but in my opinion they just look better uh, then we're going to move on to the grill and we do get a painted lip I don't know if you'll be able to see that change but it does change slightly and then we can change the uh, the grill altogether with a split grill and then we've got the bespoke grill um, personally oh, I, again I think I like the um, the stock grill better this is fucking ridiculous you know what I mean? It's just fucking crazy. We've got a car with so much potential to be so good, especially with customization. And the the customization is so lax and so disappointing. I prefer the stock versions of it all. It's weird. It shouldn't be like that. You should want a customizer. You should have these crazy options where you think, yes, I want to purchase that. But as it is, man, my car is stock. Uh, but anyway, again, we're going to move on. We're going to go to the hood now. And again, not a massive change for the first option. But then we do actually get the, our first real visual change of this vehicle, which is nice. Um, the double vented actually looks quite cool. I like that. Triple intake, not as good. Uh, the drift intake looks insane. Not sure how I feel about that one. Uh, the painted drift intake actually looks a lot better in my opinion i think that looks pretty sweet and then we go back to the stock hood so my favorites were the, were the painted drift intake and uh, this double vented i think they both look pretty sweet um but i think i'm gonna go with a painted drift intake that looks fucking nuts so yeah i think i think we're gonna go with that i'm also gonna quickly jump back to the grill um I'm thinking about being just a little bit different. I know it doesn't look crazy different, but I want my car to at least not look so stock. Um, so I'm gonna go with a split grill, even though I I prefer the stock one. And also for the front bumper, I am I gonna go with it? I don't know. 
I was thinking about grabbing the intercooler, but it looks a bit weird. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a different splitter anyway. I'm gonna go with the the racing splitter uh, just to make it look a little bit different, you know, um, from the stock version. Uh, so where were we? We just on the hood. We're gonna skip the horn. We're gonna go to the lights. We're gonna go to the Xeon headlights. We're gonna grab them. Uh, then we've got liveries. So we've got the sport stripes standard. Um, obviously, every car has got a sport stripe livery um, nowadays. It's fucking insane. And then the next one we've got is the Ocelot stripe. Um, that actually doesn't look too bad. I don't think it really goes that well with the the uh, style of hood that I've got. Um, with it going over them vents, it looks a, bit, a little bit funky. Um, but if you had another hood, I think it would look pretty sweet. And, ooh. You know what? I actually don't mind that one. I think it actually looks pretty cool. If we got rid of the metallic blue on that and gave it a classic blue so we didn't get get this sort of like two-tone colour going on in the livery, I think that would actually look quite cool. Uh, cutting the car in half with uh, with a livery. Looks awesome. Um, then we've got obviously the standard race liveries, which um, again, like I say on most videos, I'm not a massive fan. Um, so I'll show you them, but I won't probably won't be purchasing any of them. See that looks pretty cool. Not a race livery, um, a graphic livery actually looks really good. Uh, another race livery, another race livery, another race livery, uh, race livery, uh, yuck. Uh, <laughs> um, but I did actually like this one. I don't think I'm going to purchase it though because I've got another idea in mind um, of the way I want this car to look. Um, but that is a cool one, that is probably my favourite one of the lot. Uh, but I'm personally not going to purchase one at the moment. Um, then we're going to go down to the respray, we're going to go primary, we're going to go we're going to go classic for this bad boy and I'm going to purchase frost white for the primary and then we're going to go to the secondary, I'm assuming the secondary colour is going to be the little roof part here which it is and I'm going to leave that black and we've got a trim colour option which is awesome, love trim colour options I'm thinking about all white, I'm not sure though is that a bit bold? I think that's, I think that might be a bit bold. Um, so in that respect, I think I don't know. That actually looks quite cool. The shadowed silver. I like that. Let's go shadowed silver for the trim color. Uh, then we've got the roof. We can give it a carbon roof if you would like, but I prefer the gloss black. Uh, we've got skirts, secondary skirts. Nah. Carbon skirts, nah. <laughs> um, the, the carbon lip skirt, no. And the secondary carbon lip skirt. Again, man, I prefer the, the stock um, option. It's crazy, really, but um, that's the way it is, man. They've made an awesome looking stock car and uh, just not good enough customizations to it, in my opinion, that is, anyway. Um, but anyway, we're going to move on. We've got the spoiler next. We've got loads of options for. Spoiler. I will get my words out. We have got loads of options for spoilers. So we've got the low level, the secondary low level, the street wing, the secondary street. Oh, so basically they're just secondary versions of them. <laughs> uh, but then we go to something a little bit different, which is the GT wing. I actually really like that on this car. It looks awesome. And then we've got a carbon version of that. And then the drift wing, which is pretty much the same, but a little bit taller. And don't like that one as much. But this one looks sweet. I uh, don't want the carbon one though. I thought I'm just going to go with the, the standard GT wing. I think that looks pretty cool. Then we've got suspension. We are going to slam it. We're going to get the competition suspension. Transmission, we're going to get a super transmission. We're going to get the turbo tuning. For the wheels, the wheels actually look really nice. But they don't really look all that special. They look very similar to uh, the Rally Masters. Which they do. They are actually very, very similar to the Rally Masters. Uh, maybe just a little bit bigger, which is cool. Um, so I actually really like them. And because the rim size is a really good size, I don't think I'm going to find anything that I'm actually going to prefer. Unless it's the Endo uh, V.2. They actually look really smart. And they look nice in white too. Um... Do I want white wheels on a white car though? 
I think I might do, you know. I'm going to grab them. I'm going to get the Endo V3.2. Um, they look sweet in white, man. Um, but do they look better in black? I think they look better in black. So I'm going to go carbon black for the wheels. And to finish off the build, as always, we're going to go into the windows, purchase the light smoke window tint. Get it out on the streets. Have a little look around it. See what it looks like now. I've customised it. And it does look awesome, man. It really, really does. It's just a shame there wasn't more customization options. Is it me or is that really slow accelerating? That's odd. Really start a slow. And then all of a sudden, it just kicks in. What the hell is that about? Is that a bug? I think this car's got a bug. Right, so I'm, I'm still. My finger is going all the way down on the trigger now. Oh, so like that, it's not bad. Um, wow, we've got, we picked up to 100, man, really quickly then. That just felt really odd then. Like, when I was on a rolling start and I was putting my finger all the way down on the trigger, it just felt like it was really slow to accelerate, but it seems like it's just ironed itself out um, and it's started working again. Um, and it's not my controller because I only bought this yesterday. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, fuck knows what happened there. Maybe it was just a, a bug or a glitch in the... In the matrix. Um, but this car is fucking rapid, really quick. It's the quickest one I've tested so far, I think, out of um, all the new DLC vehicles. Um, oh, uh, there we go. Let's see, it. I had my finger all the way down then, and, and it sort of like started to accelerate. So, so it is doing it. I, I think this car might be bugged. I think it's got a little glitch to it. Um, you know, but it does pick up speed in the end. Uh, like I was saying, I have only customised two other vehicles, and I've tested one other vehicle, which is the Neo, which I haven't done a video on yet, uh, but I will be. And this seems to be the quickest one out of all four cars that I have that I have tested in this new DLC and um, acceleration on it is awesome like I said I think there's a bit of a bug at the beginning but once it gets gets into it once it gets into the swing of things it is really quick it feels um, really light responsive it feel, whoa didn't know I didn't see that car there but no it feels like it can go around corners quite nicely it sticks to the roads um, light steering it's awesome man I really like this Love the way it looks. Like I said, it's just as well it looks awesome from from stock from a stock point of view because the customizations aren't great. Um, but I can see past that. This is going to be an awesome racing car. It is going to be an awesome show car. And I highly, highly recommend purchasing this when this is released. I'm not sure when it is going to be released. Um, but you, but when you do purchase it, it is going to cost you 1.2. Two five million dollars, so it's going to be a lot of money, you know. And um, so, out of all these beautiful cars that you can buy in this new DLC, you're going to have to make some decisions, man. Because unless you're a billionaire in this game online, um, you're gonna you're gonna find yourself either grinding or buying cars, selling cars, buying cars, selling cars to um, you know try them all out. But this is definitely one that's got to be on your list to purchase because, like I said. It is awesome looking. It is really quick. Uh, the steering feels really responsive. It is really nice handling as well. Um, so this is definitely a car to purchase. Very, very impressed with the Ocelot Jugular. Um, so yeah, on that note, I found going to end the video there. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.